Did you know that your iPhone's Face ID camera can actually do 3D selfies and scan other 3D objects? Let's learn how to do this. Daniel Crosslink, welcome back to the channel. If you are the owner of an iPhone 10 or a more recent version, you surely know that you have the Face ID camera on the front, so you can unlock your phone by looking at the front of your phone. What you probably didn't know that this camera can actually be used to 3D scan objects, for example, for making a 3D selfie. The camera is actually pretty similar to the new LiDAR camera that iPhone 12 Pro users now also have on the backside of the phone, but this front-facing 3D camera has been there since the iPhone X or 10, however you might call it, and it's actually amazing that almost nobody is using it for 3D scanning yet. So let's see how that works. There's a few apps in the App Store that are able to use the Face ID camera for scanning. Today we're going to have a look at the EM3D app. That's the short form of Ethan Makes 3D. When you launch this app, there is a very simple one button function to start the scan. We will start with a 3D selfie just to show you how it works in general. Position the camera in front of your face, focus your sight on some distant point and hit the circle button to start scanning. What you now want to do is to move the smartphone in front of your face from left to right and top to bottom while facing the front camera towards your face basically the object you're scanning. But don't follow the camera lens with your eyes and don't move the head once you start moving the camera, otherwise this creates an awkward looking result. While you're doing the scan, the app will trigger the vibration motor off the phone every second to signal you that everything is okay. It will double vibrate once you move too fast and it lost tracking. This means the scan has stopped and you would need to check the result if it's usable or if you need to start over. Once you think you are captured enough of your face or the object, hit the circle button again to stop the scan. What happens now is that the scan is getting converted from a so-called point cloud into a mesh. That is a closed surface of the scanned face or object. From there, you can tap the screen and turn your resulting 3D object around, zoom in and zoom out. However, as you can imagine, it's basically impossible to scan yourself from each side, specifically the back side. So if you like a complete scan of your head, you will need some assistance from another person. Best will be if you sit down on a chair and the second person walks around you and scans you from each angle. Now, once you are done scanning, here comes the interesting part. You can hit the action button and export this scan into a file format that can be used for further processing, be it 3D printing or 3D modeling. You can also export a video file that you can share on social media, for example. But those are features you will only get if you buy the app. Either you can pay for the individual export functions or for everything in one package. That's not exactly cheap at about 20 US dollar for all features. Still, I think it's fair to pay for such an app because it seems to be a decent implementation of this front scanner as a 3D scanner and there is another great add-on we'll talk about in a moment. I've reached out to Marcus Adams. He's the developer of Ethan Makes 3D and he's giving away three full featured licenses to the viewers of this channel. All you have to do to get a chance to win, subscribe to my Instagram channel, add a comment underneath the EM3D giveaway post and also mention EM3D in the post. You will find all the details in the description of this video. I really hope we will soon have Marcus on the channel for an interview to chat a bit more about the backstory and future ideas for the app. Thanks Marcus for giving away those licenses. So as soon as you've unlocked the export features of the app, you can, for example, export your model into an STL file for 3D printing. There's also other formats like OBJ, which will include the texture information. So the 3D model will have a look more realistic, not only just a surface structure like in the STL format. So far, we've only seen how to use this camera pointing at ourselves, but what about scanning other things? The downside of the front-facing camera, of course, is that you cannot look at the screen at the same time if you like to point the camera to something else than yourself. That's where the creator of EM3D had a really unique idea to solve this issue. 
He created a 3D printed adapter for the iPhone that uses a mirror glass to virtually turn the camera angle of the Face ID camera by 90 degrees so it basically looks forward if you hold the phone horizontal. That makes it possible to point the upper edge of the iPhone towards the object that you like to scan while looking on the screen being able to see what you're actually scanning. You only have to turn the mirror mode on in the app once the adapter is attached to your phone. However, I had to slightly modify the adapter to fit my iPhone because I have a pretty thick screen protection glass on the surface, so the whole phone body is a bit thicker. Also, the mirror glass I'm using is thicker and a little smaller, so it didn't fit the original iPhone 12 Pro adapter that Marcus originally made. After making the required modifications to the adapter, I was able to get some decent scans with the app from other objects like the lion statue you already know from my other 3D scanning videos. I can tell you it's really a lot of fun to have a 3D scanner ready in your pocket all the time. In one of the next videos, I'll talk about the quality differences of the front-facing Face ID sensor versus the new iPhone 12 Pro LiDAR sensor in a side-by-side -side comparison of some example scans. If you like this video, you'd probably like to watch one of the other two I've linked up here for you and I see you in the next one. Bye.